Humanitarian aid. They provide, uh, they administer in, in hospitals. They do kids crusades and youth camps and uh, various things like that. They have a, an elder care ministry that we're partnering with. And then they have uh, something that they have, what they call a ladies' tea. Now, again, ladies are, are the last of the last of the last in that culture. And so what they do is they bring in all of the gypsy, Muslim, Turkish ladies, and they provide a tea for them, and they treat them special for them. And they do various things to help them uh, with hygiene and different things. And they just, they just lavish a little bit of love on the ladies. And so it's various things that they do as well that we're partnering with. And so we're going again in, in March. And uh, I mentioned this to Brother and Sister Dahl, and they, they asked me to come by and share with you. If you'd like to partner with us, we, we, uh, we run all of our funds through Church of God for Missions. Uh, none of the money goes for me for an airplane ticket or a meal anywhere. And uh, I pay for all of my expenses personally. Uh, the, the one thing that I have done, and I felt guilty about it, but I need not feel guilty, is when we were in Hungary last year, we took a group of pastors, we took them to a, uh, out to a nice meal and fed them a nice meal because again, those ministers over there, they don't get any kind of stipend, they don't get any kind of, of anything for expenses. In fact, one pastor that we work with in Jefferson, Hungary, he gets the equivalent of $400 a month uh, from the church, that's the only thing they can pay him, and, and would you believe that what is his rent every month? Four hundred dollars, and so and so he has to work additionally uh, just to provide for his family. So we do those types of things, and uh, and we try to minister to the kids because I learned a long time ago if you can change a kid, you can change a generation. Amen. Because let's just face it, we're all old and we're all set in our ways. And if you can change a kid, you can change a generation, and that's what we want to do. And I want to leave you with one last thing. Uh, there's there's a uh, there's a board out in uh, the foyer that has different pictures of some of the things that we have done uh, throughout throughout uh, our travels to Europe. And you can see that it's a pictorial board of some of the things. If you would be interested also in, in being on our email, we have an email list that uh, a lot of times the old missionaries used to do a paper mail out. We just learned to try to do it on email, and we do a we do a, a newsletter via email. We do it about. Uh, three times, four times a year. If you'd be interested in that, see me after church, and I'll get your email, and we'll switch on that. One last thing. <coughs> Something that really broke my heart. I hope I don't cry when I... Yeah. I was in Hungary last year and, um, <clears throat> ministering for a week in, a, in, in the Deverson area, which is right on the hungarian Romanian border. And uh, we went over to Romania and spent a day, and we went to the Gypsy Village, and we were going to minister. Went to a center called uh, Children of Promise. Now, this, this center was an old building, an abandoned building that the government said, you can have it because it was condemned. They didn't want to spend the money to tear it down, so they gave it to the San Petra, who was a Church of God minister. And, and uh, they said, you can have it. And so what San Petra does every day is he ministers to gypsy children and, and the poor children of the community. And after school, they come to, to this center. And the center, the building is probably as big as this sanctuary. And in one corner, they have they have what they call their library. Now, I, I, I'm not a studious person, but there was not a book on that shelf that I could understand. They were old books that were donated from somewhere, but I could not understand them. And I, it broke my heart that, okay, we're trying to teach children these books. <clears throat> then there was an area that was a computer lab. And there were more broke down computers than there were running computers. Over this corner was a little kitchen area. There was, a, there was an elderly lady in there making sandwiches for the kids because a lot of kids did <coughs> not get nourishment and not get meals. And then there was, up in this area was, a, was an old piano. And there was a young man on a guitar and they were teaching the kids some Christian songs. <clears throat> and so everything that was in there was dilapidated and broke down. And, um, and right in the middle was a couple of foosball tables. And I thought, hey, look at this place of foosball. And I went over and looked at the table and I took pictures. And it broke my heart because the foosball table was so broken you couldn't play it. But it was there for more decoration than anything. And the Lord 
broke my heart. I mean, I just, I, I had a broken heart in that day. And, and I felt so grieved in my spirit. And then I looked and I, and I saw these. Now, I know we go to Crayola and we get a pack of crayons for a dollar. <coughs> Here's the crayons. And you're welcome to look at these after church. But that broke my heart. And so I asked him, I said, I'll buy the crayons. Because I wanted to bring them back and show people this is what they use. They don't have the luxuries that we do, and so, and so that is something. But the most gripping thing of it all was, I was talking to Brother Mitra as, as we were getting ready to leave that afternoon, and we were headed up to a mountain church in, in the mountain, and um, I said, Brother Mitra, I said, I know you have many needs here, and I want to partner with you, and I want to be able to come back, and I want to do some things with you, but I said, I said how shall we pray? <coughs> He said, pray for our young ladies. He said, we have two young ladies that are here. They're 12 years of age. And when they leave this afternoon, their parents will pick them up and carry them to the streets and prostitute them tonight. He said, now, now Pastor, before you get upset, I understand the reason why they will do this. Because that's their way of buying food, buying firewood, and being able just to survive. And I don't know about you, but that breaks my heart. And that's why I do what I do, is because I want to say, any young lady I can, any young man I can, and having to go through that kind of pain and that kind of hurt just to make it. Why? Because Jesus is the answer. If I, can, if I can give them a sandwich to share Jesus Christ, if I can buy a brand new computer for them to play computer games on, and at the same time show them Jesus Christ, it's worth it all. What price do we put on, on a child's soul? And so I want to I ask you to partner with us tonight. And, uh, I don't know when, when we're going to now. Uh, Pastor Bill said that we would do it. So now we're going to we're going to receive an offering before I preach. And, and if you'd like to sow in our ministry, this will go, first it will go to Church of God World Mission, and your church will receive uh, missions credit, and then it will come back to our, our Europe's Child account. And then we will, when we go in March, we will uh, we will carry those funds and we will do what we can to provide medicine, to provide vitamins, to provide the things that will hopefully save a child, both physically and spiritually. So I'll, I'll let you receive the offering this time. If, if you're going to make a check out, make it out to the church. Can we just do one one check, and then we'll do we'll do the world missions credit through the church check. Just about to come to church right now, Father. We still watch for and we'll wrap one check for God. Brother, did you have some? Luke, did you get some coffee? Praise be to God. In this life, we're given to God. Amen. Let me say additionally, if, if you would like to ongoing support us through vitamins, we're always collecting vitamins, lice, shampoo, children's medicine that we'll be shipping periodically. So we've got three different uh, missions, uh, agencies that we're partnering with. And so if you'd like to do that, see me and we'll, we'll show you how you can you can drop the bottom of the bottom and we'll, we'll take care of them and get them shipped to those in the